everybody, I'm Mark. Welcome to Mondays with Mark, and we are on Smokey Stephen Mark. Oh, yes, we are. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Has this oppressive summer heat got you down? Like, are you dreaming of a winter wonderland? Because I am totally. I mean, the majority of us are in this, like, heat wave right now. That's why I was so excited for this video tonight. Oh yeah, we're dropping the temperature tonight on Mondays with Mark. I have four projects and recipes sure to cool you off. So let's get right to it, okay? So my very, very first project we're going to do is so simple and so fun. Now, if you got little ones around, this is one of those uh, perfect projects for uh, sensory activities. Well, I'll talk I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. We're going to make homemade snow. Oh, yes, we are. All right. So to make this, you will need two boxes of baking soda. Okay. And then you're going to need a half a cup of regular conditioner. Okay. Just make sure that the conditioner you get is white. Okay. Because we want our snow to be white, right? The first time I made this, I used uh, a conditioner that was lemon scented and it was yellow. Yeah, we had yellow snow. I don't think anybody likes yellow snow, okay? So just make sure it's white, okay? And all we're going to do is dump our baking soda into the bowl, like so. And then we are going to add our conditioner. Now, the one thing that's really fun about this is if you get a conditioner that has no scent to it all, that is totally unscented, you can use essential oils and scent it to your favorite scent. Like you could do pine, peppermint, anything like that. So cool, right? This one happens to be strawberry scented and it is uh, a little bit pink. And I'll, so I wanted to show you what I meant um, by tinting it. Let's just get this out there like that. Okay. And now we are just going to mix this up. Now, a little tip for this too. After you mix all this up, you can pop it in the freezer for about a half hour. It makes it just a little more authentic because it's as cold as snow. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So we got that mixed up. Now the fun part, we can get our hands in there and start mixing it up. Now, as you mix it, you'll realize that this is kind of the texture of that kinetic sand. So cool. And it looks just like snow. And this always amazes me every time I make this. This is so fun. Now I know this is your thinking, oh, this is just for kids. Once you start making this though, you're going to be addicted because this is super fun. So now we have snow to play with. Mm -hmm. So like I said for the sensory thing, like you can put this in a tray like so and the kids can, you know, draw their names in it, draw stars, do whatever they want. You can make a snowball. Oh yeah. This is a great way to teach them, teach the little ones too, how snow is formed. So we got a snowball. Whoosh, just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Or you can make a whole bunch of them together, stack them up and make yourself a snowball topiary like I did. And, hey, get yourself a scrap piece of fabric, maybe a couple of chocolate chips in there, make a little hat and you got yourself a snowman. I know, right? How cool. So, super fun for decor, super fun for the kids. You can do anything with this. Grab yourself one of those uh, sand castle molds at the dollar store and you'll have a snow castle. Buy some of those cheap little tractors and you can push the snow around. Such a fun project, right? Homemade snow. Now, I promised you some recipes. Oh yeah. Now, I can't think of anything else cooler than an ice pop, right? So let's go. Let's make some homemade ice pops, all right? And we're calling them ice pops, not popsicles, unless we're referring to the brand, of course. You know, it's kind of like a Kleenex tissue kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? We're making ice pops today, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do, all right? So first thing you're going to need is a mold of some sort. I got this off of Amazon. It's a nine cavity mold and it has it in different sizes. But if you don't want to spend the money on a mold or if you don't have one, 
don't you worry, I got you covered, okay? So, but we're going to start with molds first, all right? So what I like to do with my molds is I like to get a container and set half of it in just to make it a little more sturdy like that. Um, you know, it just kind of helps with it once it's in the freezer. Now, the, the easiest way to make an ice pop um, is just with juice. So I have some grape juice here from Welch's, yes. And it is simple as, let me grab my, there it is. It's as simple as pouring it in the molds. And when you use molds, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch from the top, just like that, because it does expand a little when it's freezing. And I always use a measuring cup to do it instead of pouring it straight from the container because, you know, it can get a little bit messy. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We need grape. Put this aside here. Now, if you do happen to have little ones at home, I am sure you have juice bags, right? So, again absolutely perfect 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 for making ice pops so let me grab my scissors here and we'll just snip off the end and i don't want to get it inside my mold like that we'll put it in our and this is cherry oh yeah these are those uh kool-aid jammers that any drink box any juice bag anything will work too so we got great and now we have everyone's favorite cherry pops all right and heck why don't we mix some let's do a, a a grape cherry one i mean the possibilities are endless really when you think about it all right so we got grape we got cherry what are we going to do next i know how about frozen lemonade that sounds awesome all right any brand will do, or you can make homemade. I'm trying to show you how we can do things really, really quick and almost semi-homemade, if you will. We do have a homemade, homemade recipe, but... So, it's as simple as freezing lemonade, and you will have a lemonade pop. Very cool. Now, why don't we up the ante a little bit here? I know what we'll do. How about blueberry lemonade, anybody? All you do, pop a couple blueberries in there, just like so. Let's make two of these ones, because these are going to be super good. And add your lemonade for a blueberry lemonade pop. Yes, as you can see, you can add any fruit you want to any juice you want. I say have fun, experiment, mix it up, make any kind at all. You will not go wrong, okay? You won't go wrong. I'm serious, you won't go wrong. All right, let me put this stuff away here. All right. Now, next. Oh, yeah. You can freeze soda, too. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very cool. Okay. I'm going to up the ante on this one, too, because I'm saying, why don't we have a cherry cola pop. So all I'm doing is mixing some cherry juice. About a quarter of the way. And then I'm going to add the rest of Coke or Pepsi. Just like so. And there you go. We have a cherry Coke ice pop. I know, how cool, right? Now, you can use any kind of soda. Sprite would be fantastic. How about some orange sun kissed for an orange pop? I think, I don't know. I, like I said, these thrill me because the, half of the fun of this is, you know, mixing it up and, 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 and coming up with different flavors. Look, I'm stuttering. I'm so excited. All right. So I promised you a homemade one, right? So here's one a little more healthy, but just as delicious we are going to make a cucumber lemon mint ice pop oh yeah so for this you will need one half of a cucumber which you chunked up like so just like that and then i saved about four or five slices too we'll set those aside a real small handful of mint i picked i picked both of these right from the garden right before we started filming so what we're going to do is get a food processor or a blender either one will work 
and we're going to just toss that into the processor like so. Go there. Okay. To that, we're going to add two cups of lemonade. Again, you can buy the bottled stuff or you can make your own either way. If there we, and we're just going to add that to the bowl like that or add that to your blender and seal it all up. And we're going to pulse this or turn it on for at least one minute until it's nice and smooth, okay? Now, this is pretty loud, so you know what? How about this? I'll see you in about a minute, okay? All right, so it's been a minute, and let's see. Let me show you here. Okay, and it is perfect. Yay! All right, so... Nice and blended. Oh, oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Wow. Okay. So now we have that. And it's as simple as pouring right into our molds. Whoops, a little high there. Okay. You want to leave about a half inch on this one because we're going to put some cucumber slices in there as well. That one's a little full. I'm going to have to get that out of there. Well, I'll do that later. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is these molds have these nifty nifty little lids on there that you can put your popsicle stick right in. Like so. And then you just set it right on top like that. And you are set to go. Now we're going to pop these into the freezer and let them freeze solid. At least, you know, about four hours or so or overnight, whatever. But... I have a few more pops to show you. If you don't have a mold, you can use practically anything. You could use some plastic cups, you could use muffin tins, yogurt containers, my favorite, 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 Dixie cups. Oh yeah, these are perfect because you can leave them in the Dixie cups after they're frozen and just peel it away whenever you're ready to eat it. You know what I mean? It's really, really cool. But anyway, I think it's the perfect size. So. Let's make some more indulgent ice pops, okay? First one, and probably one of my absolute favorites, okay, is we're going to make a coffee one, okay? Mm. So you're going to need three quarters of a cup of extra strong coffee that you've chilled. Um, you know, you could also mix in some uh, espresso powder if you have just regular coffee left, all right? You just want it to be pretty strong because we are going to add a third of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to add that right to there. And this is another one that, um, and then you're going to want to blend it um, until it's thoroughly mixed, okay? And this is another one of those ones where you could use flavored coffees if you want. Oh my gosh. But this, just the way it is, strong coffee and sweetened condensed milk is so delicious when it's frozen. So, it's mixed up real nice there. We're going to pour it into our Dixie cup, like so. There we go. There we go. All right, let me get rid of this. Okay, and you want to add... Okay, there's that. Let me get this stuff out. All right, so that's our coffee one. Next, how about a fudge pop? So, again, semi-homemade, quick and easy. Grab yourself some pre-made chocolate pudding, all right? And we are going to mix that up, get our Dixie cup, and we're going to make some frozen pudding pops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nah. Look at me. I'm like, I'm like shaking. I'm trying to go so fast here because I, you know, I'm trying not to talk so long. All right, so got that like that. We'll just make one of these. All right, now we're gonna tap it down like so. And to make it even just a little more special, here we go. Sprinkle the top with some chocolate chips because the top becomes the bottom. All right. Push it down in there just like so. All right, and now we have our chocolate pudding pop. All right, now, since we did chocolate, we gotta do vanilla, right? But we're not gonna just do vanilla, 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 okay? So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna make 
a banana cream pie pop. All right, so let's get this open. Get a clean spatula, and we're gonna put one package in like so, okay? This is just regular vanilla pudding. Now you could make the pudding if you want. I'm just using instant uh, pre-made pudding because it was there. And then we have some sliced ripe banana. And I just chopped that up. Push that down in there like so till all the bananas are covered. And that's good. Tap that down so it gets nice and flat. Okay. All right. And for the finishing touch, graham cracker crumbs. And just kind of, you want to kind of mix it in there so it sticks. Just like so. And we have a banana cream pie pop. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Moving right along. So we're on our last set of creamy frozen delights, right? Okay. So I um, thought, why not use yogurt? And I just happen to have some vanilla yogurt here ready to go. I used regular vanilla. You could also use Greek, too. Greek works just as well. Get rid of that. Okay. Pull this out of the way. Get myself here. Okay, so we're going to make a blue, uh, a blueberries and cream pop, all right? And that's as simple as vanilla yogurt. Okay, a handful of fresh blueberries. More yogurt. More blueberries. And more yogurt. Give that a tap. Blueberries and cream. Oh yeah. Now you obviously you can use any type of fruit. Strawberries and cream will be great. And another fun thing about this is that you can use different flavors of yogurt too. You could use a blueberry yogurt if you wanted to already. But I think the addition of some fresh blueberries really make the difference, okay? So let's make a more desserty. All right, so vanilla yogurt. Oreos, you guessed it. Cookies and cream pops. All right, one, two, three, more vanilla yogurt. Couple more cookies, more yogurt. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat these. I really can't. Give it a tap. And then I just crushed a few of them up like that. And we're going to make a little crust on there. And again, push it down in just a little so that it sticks once it's frozen. All right. And there is that one. Okay. So, now... I think that's pretty good for the for the pops, right? What do we do? Like about 9, 10, 20 of them? All right. <laughs> so now these ones, we're going to have to put our pops in there. Now, you might luck out and you might be able to stick it right in and it stands right up, okay? I mean, you can't get any easier than that, let me tell you. But our liquidy ones, eh, not so much. Oh, goodness, what are we going to do? Very simple. Tin foil to the rescue. Just cover the top like so. Whoops, wait here. You know what? Here, let's do this. I mean, I doubled it. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to just stick it in like so. And there you go. If you use a single thing, you could just pop it right through, but I was afraid it wouldn't be too strong, so I doubled up the aluminum foil. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop all these. You know what I did? I got a little cardboard box here to make it a little easier to transport, all right? So we're gonna pop these into the freezer, and we are going to allow them to 
uh, freeze completely. And like I said, you're going to want to leave them for at least four hours or so. You know, like industrial freezers, oh gosh, in an hour they'd be frozen. But our home ones inside of our refrigerators, it's going to take a little longer. So I would recommend leaving them in overnight, all right? So while those are chilling, I, uh, I think we may have one more project for you, all right? Yes, we do. So, our next project, I thought, how perfect to make ice candles. Oh, yeah, because everybody seemed to like our Candle uh, 101 uh, video about how to make candles, you know, the basics of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that card right in here for you, all right, because I have everything ready to make our ice candle today. So, what I have is... I melted our wax, It's I melted it to 190, and then I let it cool down to about 120, so it's all ready to go. That's in that original video for you to check out, okay? So, for ice candles, this is so nostalgic for me. I remember my very, very first craft project ever. My grandmother made um, ice candles with me in, in a milk carton, so you may actually remember this too. So, we're going to do that today. So. For our container, we're going to use a milk carton, which I have uh, ready here. You can make these in any size you want, all right? I cut mine about halfway there. And I thought we used all those yogurts up for our, uh, our ice pops, so yogurt containers are going to be fantastic. I even have the little Oreo container, all right? So what I did was, instead of using a real wick, I used... A taper candle for our wick. Now there's two reasons for this. The most important one is if you are making these to burn, this will ensure that it burns down evenly and nice and slowly, you know, plus it's a lot easier to do. And all I did was stick it to the bottom of the um, container. Now in order to do that, you want to cut, you know, your candle from the bottom up to fit inside, not from the top down, if that makes sense, so that you have a mold that's ready to go like this with the taper in it, okay? All right, so, and look at these little ones. I think these are so cool. These make awesome wicks, okay. So I have that all set and ready to go. The next ingredient we need, ice. All right, now, I got that, <laughs> now. You can use any size ice you want. I have a few different sizes here. I think I'm going to go with the biggie ones for that. And then I have some crushed ice here too. And all I did was just hit it with a hammer so we have different sizes there. Now that our wick is in place, and if you are going to make these just for decor, the wick doesn't matter. You could use a regular cotton wick. Or heck, I mean, really, you don't even have to use a wick at all if you just want it for decor. But I don't know if that would really look like a candle, though. All right, so let's get started. So all we're going to do is put ice in our mold up to the top of our wick. All around like so. Just making sure that our wick stays centered, okay? There we go. It's pretty good there. Yeah, put one more in. There. Okay, I think that's good. You have to get that last one in there, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Alright, so now I'm going to use some smaller ones, I think, in here. Like I said, any size will work, you know, depending on what um, vessel you have. You can also use, uh, you can also make these in regular pillar candle molds, you know, the metal ones. That will work too. Actually, you can use any container you want. I've even made these using a two liter um, Coca-Cola bottle. They look pretty cool too. All right. I think that's gonna be a real big one. Let's get rid of that. All right, put some smaller ones up top there. Okay, there we go there. There we go there. Okay, I think we are about ready. I just gotta finish this one here. Okay. La, 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 la. Yep, you gotta sing to it just like we do when we cook. Got to. I hear that there are a few pets out there that like to sing along with me when I sing in my videos. Um, gosh. That's, that's very flattering, let me tell you. Okay, I think we are ready to go. There's no perfect way to do this. Each one will come out to be totally unique. 
All right, there we go. I think that's good. So now all we're going to do, give our wax one final stir. Okay, and I have all of my containers in a cardboard, a lid of a cardboard box, just because of spillage, you know what I'm saying? So let's go for it. Now when we pour our wax, we're going to want to do it in a circular motion as to not you know, melt all the ice cubes in one place there. And you want to bring it up to the top, tippy top, just like so. Do this baby here. Good. And then we'll do that one too. Ooh, I think that's good. And our last one going all around like so. Alright, I think that looks pretty darn good, uh, if I do say so myself. Okay, so at this point we're going to want to walk away and just let it do its thing. So we're going to let the wax harden. Now it's not going to take as long as when we made our basic candles the other night. That took several hours. This will probably take an hour or two. More importantly, we want to make sure that all of our ice cubes are melted after, uh, why don't we say, let it sit for two hours at least, okay? After that's done, we're going to want to empty all the water out of it. Just turn it upside down, let it drain out a little bit, and then it's as simple as peeling the um, the uh, container away from the wax. Just do it kind of gently because these are fragile when they're done. As you can imagine, they're going to look like lace a little bit, you know, so they're a little fragile. So you just want to peel it away from it. And uh, I think we'll have to wait on that because we need a couple hours. So what can we do? Oh, yeah, we have another recipe for you. We are going to make a frozen s'mores crunch cake. Oh yeah, it's the internet sensation. Everybody loves this, so I had to check it out. I made it. I am hooked, let me tell you. I totally dig it, and I think you will be too. So, let me get some uh, space here. Okay, now, for this recipe, you will need a 9-inch springform pan, or you could use a regular 8x8 or 9x9 square baking pan. Either way, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, in this bowl here, I have, uh, I have already done this to save time, um, but I wanted to show you the package. Here, let me grab it over here. You're going to need one entire package of Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. I used the dark chocolate ones for this. Oh my gosh, yes I did. All right, so one package of bars, all unwrapped, all broken up, and uh, to that we added one-third of a cup of sugar, and we added six tablespoons of butter, which we melted. I put it in the food processor, and I pulsed it until we had crumbs like this, okay? This is going to serve for our crust and our crumb topping. So we're going to take half of this, a little bit more than half, you know, we just want to save, let's see, we're going to save about that much. Let's see, I'd see that'd be about, what, a cup? Um, push this down the bottom, just like so, to form a crust. If you haven't tried this, I'm sure you probably have heard of this recipe because I, so many people have been talking about it on social media that I was so intrigued I had to try it. I mean, really, honestly, nothing says summer and hot weather like s'mores, right? So I had to find a way, because since we're dropping the temperature today on Mondays with Mark, to do a frozen variety. Now, I didn't want to just stick some graham crackers, some vanilla ice cream, and some chocolate together and call it a s'mores, right? We had to come up with something better than that. So we have our frozen s'mores crunch cake. Okay, now, I already have made for you this luscious, luscious filling, okay? Now, this luscious, luscious filling was made with three cups of Cool Whip. Let me get this out of the way. Here we go there. Put this aside. Stop that. Three cups of Cool Whip. And then we have one entire container of fluff. That's 16 ounces. 
And then we have one uh, package, eight ounces of cream cheese that has been softened. Now we mix this in a mixer until it's thoroughly mixed and creamy like so, okay? And that is what we're going to put down next. We're going to use about half of this, okay? And we're going to spread that out like so. Move this out of the way. Okay. And spread this out as best as you can. All the way to the edges. It doesn't matter if you get some crumbs in there. It makes it better. Okay. So, all right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. All right. So that is your second layer there. Yum, yum. Okay. So next, you're going to need one jar of hot fudge topping. Okay. And I think it's 14. Let's see. 11.75-ounce uh, jar of hot fudge topping. Now, you could always use more if you want, but that's what it calls for. Now, uh, to make this a little bit easier, where is my spatula? Uh, I have to erase this. I'm not prepared. Okay, to make it a light, see what you're doing. I didn't okay? do anything. They see what you're doing. I balked on that one. You turned around too fast. <laughs> <laughs> to make it easier to spread, pop it in the microwave and do it on like about 15 second intervals until it gets a little easier to spread, okay? Um, you know, cold hot fudge sauce is very difficult to spread. And we're just going to dollop it over this layer, okay? Like so. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is a uh, low-calorie dessert. No. Some of those ice pops could be low-calorie, like you could use diet soda, you could use uh, low-calorie yogurt, you could use light pudding, you know. This, not so much. All right, so one entire jar, and spread it out as best as you can, like so. Uh, making it warmer uh, really helps this part a lot. Okay. All right, there's that layer. Mmm, very good. Okay, and as you probably guessed, another layer of our creamy goodness. Like so. Spread that out. And a little trick here, if you don't want to get it super messy, Get it to the edge of the pan and then move it. It just helps a little bit. But like I said, if it mixes, it doesn't matter. See like that? It, it Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's the taste. And we're covering it up anyway. All right, so that was our next layer. Perfect. All right. Then finally, finally, the remainder of our crumbs we're going to put sprinkle all on top like so mm. oh, I can't I know what I'm having for dessert tonight I think I'm having it for dinner mm. gosh see I don't have enough crumbs I guess you ate it all I saw you picking at it see no <laughs> I'm kidding that's perfect okay and that is it now we're gonna pop this into the freezer until it freezes solid about two hours three hours or so but again you can leave it in overnight too that's what i think i might do here um cover it up with some aluminum foil first and you're set to go pop this into the freezer and let it freeze completely okay so i gotta get everything into the freezer and let it freeze and i think that's it for all of our um um projects yes all right so, what are we going to do for the next five hours? I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to have to activate the magic time machine. I really do. So, I mean, I could, I could probably come up with something for the next five hours. You know how I ramble on, but nah, nah. Let me activate the magic time machine, and I will see you in about five hours. Hey! Oh, God.
gosh, you never know what's going to happen with the time machine. Oh my gosh. I got into the popsicles. What do you think? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing like amateur special effects, right? Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> well, let's see the rest of them. All right. Oh my gosh. What do we yeah. have? We have... I'm having one of the icy ones first. <gasps> Here they are. Okay, so the molds had the little uh, bottoms on them. That's our blueberry lemonade. Nice. And our, this is our um, frozen juices. What is this one? Oh, yep. Blueberry lemonade. And this is just our straight up lemonade one there. Mm -hmm. And we have here all our cherry one. Ooh. Oh, and this is the one. This is the one I've been wanting to show you. This is our, um, yeah. The cucumber mint. Oh, cucumber lemon mint it was, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, this one's a such, such a good one. But yeah, when you get molds, they have the little bottoms on like that. And that's great for like when it drips. But I always, I prefer to take them off uh, myself, you know, when I'm eating them. I don't know. I like it when it gets messy and sticky. It's a popsicle, right? Oops. It's an ice pop. An ice pop. Not a pop. Remember Kleenex tissue? Popsicle blah, 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 blah. is a registered trademark of the Popsicle Corporation. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, we made some other kinds, right? Oh, let me get them. Mm. Oh, you have them ready? Oh, oh good. I'm all right. not too excited. So we have all of our Dixie Cup ones mm -hmm. right there. They're all frozen like that. And I, I like to keep them, you know, like this until I'm ready to eat them, right? And it's as simple as, take it like that. This is what this is, our chocolate one. And you just rip it all the way around like so. Put this down there. Pretty These cool, huh? Too. See the bottom, our chocolate chips? This is the fudge pop one. I'm having cookies and cream. Oh, yeah, show them. There's the cookies and cream. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. And our, uh, our, our, our banana cream pie, anybody? <laughs> so cool. And then this is our coffee one. With the sweetened condensed milk. Oh, yeah. This is the one I'm going to tear up in just yeah. a minute. So, anyway, those were our ice pops. Very, very cool. All right. Let me get this, put this down here. So, what's this? So. Snow. Snow. We made homemade snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like kind of cool, huh? Ooh, the sensory snow. Mm. Yes, and, 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 our candles. Oh. Let's see. These were the ones made in the yogurt cups. Like that. I have the big ones still curing there because it's only been three hours, so I don't want to mess with that until I like to let that one set a little longer because it's a big one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to let that cure, and I didn't have a backup or anything, so I'm going to let that cure, but you know what? I'll definitely take a picture of them and put them on Facebook so you can see it, okay? But they turned out really, really cool. I love making ice candles. It's, it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And I guess the finale... Our frozen s'mores, a crunch cake. That looks very good. Okay, enough. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> yes. Oh man, this is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Let me go back to my pops. All right. Thank you so much for spending the evening with me. I had a blast, and you stuck with me through the end at my attempt to try to cool things off this summer. Like I said, we had a lot of amateur special effects in this video, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the things we planned. I originally, <laughs> I originally planned on this thing, this this whole video being in one take. There was a yeah. helicopter landing. You should oh have heard. yeah, the storyboards were. Oh just... my goodness. But it didn't work out. But you know what's good about that, though, is all the mistakes we made this time, we won't make next time. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. 
Right. So I'm, I'm anxious to see how the finished product turns out. <laughs> I am. But anyway, yes, I had a great time. I hope you did too. I hope it cooled you off a little bit. I hope you try all these recipes and these projects. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll post all of this on Facebook. I'll take some nice pictures of everything, put the recipes, put the projects on Facebook so you can uh, download it and print it and try it out yourself. Uh, I tried to do this really fast today. It was kind of a different way of doing it. So we'll see how it turns out but like I said I'll put it on Facebook so you can see it all right so again thank you so 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 much for making it this far remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we have a new video coming out and uh, check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter all of our contact information is listed right below that will be our mailing address and our email address all that's below if you have any questions definitely leave a comment below or send me an email and I'll do my best to answer you in a timely fashion Mm -hmm. I have to put that in there because I'm not good at like instant responses. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? Not so much. No. Um, and again, I hope you enjoyed today. Um, and uh, remember, you know, stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive, everybody. Well, I guess above all else, stay cool, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Bye. I gotta